That's right, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you finally how you can automate trend lines on TradingView to buy and sell for you on your exchange. So check this example where you can buy slowly into a position and then you can sell out of a position based on Fibonacci lines. OK, and you can fully automate this to buy for you and to sell for you fully automatically and you can move the lines around and they will be respected for the automation, right? And also it's quite nice because the exchange will never know where you will be buying, right? Because you're not in the order book, you have a line on the chart and so nobody can run your stops or your orders because they don't know where they will be. So that's another advantage. You're going to use Signum and Signum is able to trade with percentages and it makes life much easier. I want to show you all of that. Let's go get your coffee, eyes on the screen and let's get started. As always, this is not financial advice. I show you a method, but you have to still make your own decisions. You can lose all of your money in crypto. Most people do. That is why I do this channel to give people education on how they can protect their portfolio, how they can grow their portfolio, how they can use strategies to automatically buy and sell to not have emotions in the game anymore. So make sure to subscribe and let's get started. OK, my guys, I want to show you a situation where you want to ease into a position with trend lines and then ease out. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I will put myself on the bottom and check this out. You have these four lines where you want to buy and these four lines where you want to sell. OK, here I have decided the lines to be where the Fibonacci retracement lines are, right? So basically I take the Fibonacci retracement, you can click here, click the Fibonacci retracement, click on the top, I'm not perfectly at the top, whatever, click on the top and then drag it to the bottom and then you pretty much get what I have right here. The idea is the same, you do your thing, right? But this would be an idea to buy at strategic levels and then sell at strategic levels. And because we don't know how high Bitcoin will go, we have to ease out of that position. Now, why does it make sense to use Fibonacci in the first place? Let me show you very, very quickly. If you take the Fibonacci retracement, right, and you do the whole thing that I showed you, but for the previous cycle, then you can see that actually if you draw it into the current cycle and it predicted exactly the top of Bitcoin for the last cycle, right, because it went from here through all of these levels, right, and then you could have sold it at 3.618 Fibonacci level, right? Which is exactly the same idea that I'm using here for the current cycle, right? Okay, but let's go back to our example of today's video where you want to ease in and ease out at strategic levels. How would you do that, right? And like I told you in the introduction, we want to use a software called Signum. And in Signum, you can do something very nice. You can trade with percentages, right? Actually, we make fun of it right here. Can you send a signal to sell 100% of the asset no matter if Signum purchased it or not? Absolutely, yes. And buying is easy, right? But selling is tricky otherwise. So Signum will help us with this very, very much. So the first thing we're gonna do is we go to signum.money and then we click on try it now. Okay, you create an account and then I see you on the other side of that account. And once you are logged in, it will look something like this. The first thing it's gonna ask you to do is to create a bot. So click on it and choose the exchange that is best for you. I will choose Bybit and basically follow the instructions here to create a sub account because the sub account is very important for this kind of stuff. Create the API key is very easy to do and then copy paste it into here. Click validate, give it a name and choose your trading pair, right? In this case, we're going to use Bitcoin USDT, okay? So once you have done that, you have a bot and it will look something like this. You gave it a name, you have a trading pair. Let me change it here to Bitcoin USDT as well and let's click save. And the next thing to do is to go to TradingView custom alerts because here, and let me zoom in here, here you can actually see the buy signal and the sell signal and you can basically copy this and you can change the percentage that you want to buy and sell, right? So that is how we're going to set alerts on these trend lines. And in case you don't know, when you click on a trend line, then you can set an alert. Click on that and you can set the alert. But we're not going to do it now. I want to first explain why I have these weird numbers, 25, 33.4, 50 and 100. Let's do that now. Once you understood this, it's going to unlock a new skill. OK, first of all, you have to remember what you are trading, right? You're trading Bitcoin USDT, right? So when you buy, you take USDT and you convert it to Bitcoin, right? When you sell, you take Bitcoin and you convert it to USDT. So now let's take these percentages and let's understand why they are important. Here is an example calculation. Let's say you have 1000 USDT and you want to buy in percentages, but every time you buy, you want to spend roughly the same amount of USDT. You can easily do that with this logic here. 
First, you send a buy signal for 25%, then you buy for 250 USDT. But then you have less USDT left on the account, so next time, in order to get to the same amount of USDT very roughly, you buy for 33.4%. That's why this trend line has a buy signal for 33.4%. And the third buy signal is for 50%, then as well you arrive very closely to 250 USDT. And then the last buy signal is for 100%, basically everything that is still left on the account. Now the cool thing about this is that now you can put any amount of USDT on your account and these numbers will always be very close to each other. So let's say you put 2,500 bucks, then each buy will buy for pretty much similar amounts. Or you put 5,000 bucks, or 666 bucks or 69 bucks, it's always gonna help you to even out, to spread out your buys for similar amounts. And that is really practical and I hope you see the benefit already because otherwise, if you don't use percentages and you change the amount of money you have on your account, on your exchange account, you would have to come back to TradingView and change all of these alerts to put absolute numbers, which is absolutely stupid, right? That is why I'm showing you the percentage method, which Signum can do easily because it changes the game. So that's why you subscribe to this channel. And that is how you can ease in, okay? That is very simple. Signum will calculate how much USDT is involved, right? And just make it happen. And especially, right, especially the 100% sell signal is very, very, very important because however much Bitcoin, in this case, selling Bitcoin, right? Because however much Bitcoin is on the account, whenever the price of Bitcoin touches this line, it will sell everything. Okay, everything, no matter if Signum was buying it or not. So if you want to protect your position or your funds, then selling 100% line is very important. It's very important. You can move it around and you can sell immediately. And again, it's much better than having to log into the exchange, putting the order and stuff. So you can have easing in, easing out, and also you can have a sell everything line to protect your funds, right? I mean, you can even put another line like this, you can clone this, and you can put it somewhere here to have a stop loss, right? Pretty much a stop loss, sell 100%. However much is on the account, doesn't matter, it will calculate it for you, right? This is why percentage trading is super cool, and I want you to learn about it, this is why I'm making this video. So make sure to freaking destroy the like button right now and subscribe to this channel. Now, let's create all of these alerts. Okay, let's create these alerts, and in order to do that, you can do two things, either click on it once and then click on this icon, or you can right click on it and then click here on add alert on trendline. Both do exactly the same thing. And so what you can do now is you can say how often this should be triggered. I think only once is fine, right? Because you want to buy only one time. And then you need to fill in three things. Very simple. The name, that's just for you to remember what this alert is about. Then the message, you will copy paste this from Signum and change the percentage. That's it, right? And then in the notifications, you have to turn on the webhook URL and you have to put this URL, which you can also copy paste from Signum. Let's do it together. Okay, from the top, click on the trend line, click on add alert, and now go to Signum to copy what you need. Here in Signum, you might be on this page, then click on the three dots and click on edit. Oh, by the way, the three dots are hidden. Click on the three dots, edit, and then you have to be on this page where your bot is so you can see all the settings. So scroll down or before you scroll down, make sure you have Bitcoin USDT or whichever trading pair you're actually trading. That's important. And make sure you have the money on your exchange account so that Signum can see the money here, right? If you don't have it here, it will not be able to trade. Very often the problem is that the money is on the funding account instead of the trading account. Sometimes it's also called spot account, but it has to be somewhere where Signum can see it. And if it shows up here, then Signum can see it. Let's say you put money just now, simply reload the page and then Signum will fetch the data again in real time. And once it's there, you're good, okay? So now scroll down because the question is now how to trigger this bot. And we have a section just for that, what we're doing in this video. Click on TradingView Custom Alerts because that's what you're doing, right? So if you scroll down, you will see alerts on trend lines, basically. So here you have the buy signal on this side and here you have the sell signal, okay? So it has to say buy, and he has to say sell. That's easy, right? And this is long only, okay? Keep in mind. So now click into this text box and copy everything that is inside and go to trading view and paste it here. Remove everything that is already there, right? Clean message and then paste it here. And the only thing you need to change is the percentage, right? So here you put 
25% because you're on the 25% line. And that's it for the message. As you can see, TradingView also shows it with the green checkbox, meaning that the JSON is fine. You didn't forget to close the bracket or something. It's very simple to do, yeah? So if it's not simple, let me know down in the comments. Now let's go back to Signum and copy the name that we need here. So go here, click on this, and you gave your bot a name, right? So copy that. We give you this name just for convenience reasons. You can put anything you want here. And I would say that I want to also add 25% into the title. So I remember actually what this is about. Actually, I want to say buy and then 25% because that's what I will see later on in the alert. Okay, now go to the notifications and here make sure to put the Signum webhook URL. If you don't do that, then the signal will never arrive in Signum and it doesn't make any sense. So go here, copy this and paste it here, okay? And then click create. And now go with the mouse on the right side. Here you have the alerts panel and you can find your alert that you have just created right here, okay? So it says, Bitcoin one day chart crossing trend line. And in that case, send the whole message to Signum. And if you just make this a bit wider, then you can see by 25, okay? So that's why we put something proper in the title so we can recognize this, right? Let's do the next one for 33.4. Click on the line, click on add alert and Basically the same as before, I copied the buy signal because it's still a buy signal, right? And now instead of 100%, I added this to 33.4 and that's it. You have done it. Click outside of the message checkbox. Fine. Now let's copy the name again and let's put the 33.4 here by 33.4%. And in the notifications, it's already there because TradingView remembers that. So click create and bam, I have the next buy signal here, right? So you see, I can find those alerts and once they trigger, they will stop being active. So keep in mind, because we said only once, it means that after this alert got triggered, it will stop doing anything for next time. But you can always edit and change the settings and then you can reuse it anytime you want. And basically that's the way you do the buy 50 and buy 100% as well. It's very simple. Now let's do the 25% sell signal. So you see how that works as well. All right, it's pretty easy to do. As you already know, let's click on the line and let's click on add alert. And now we go to Signum and this time we copy the sell message, right? Copy this and now paste it here. And because we are on the 25% sell, we go here and we change it again to 25%. Very easy, right? And again, we copy the name and we put it here and we say sell 25%, right? And again, in the notifications, we make sure the webhook URL is there. Always check the notifications webhook URL because if that's not set, it doesn't work, right? So just three things to take care of. It's not that hard. And now click on create. And just like that, we now have as well a sell alert, right? As you can see here, it's an action sell 25%. You can do exactly the same for the other lines. And now you know how it works, right? So get started with this. It is life changing. You will see that it will change the way that you actually trade because finally you can have a strategy mapped out on the chart, okay? Instead of having to remember the whole thing always on the exchange, it doesn't make sense, okay? It's very nice and you need a Signum account and also you need a TradingView account. For both of them, there are links down below, okay? For TradingView, it's an affiliate link because it's not my software, but for Signum, it's my own software, okay? So it's not an affiliate link, just go and use it, okay? You will have a trial that starts only after your first trade and the trial is 14 days. After that, get a subscription if it helps you, okay? Because it can make you a lot of money. Having said all of that, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna share more content about trade automation and this is the next video you should watch because that will definitely change your life even more than this video. See you there. It's